awesome episode of Empires and Puzzles. So we're going to get into this, guys. We have the Guardians at Telcot. So they are here. Um, actually, the event is, is almost over. But there's a Guardian Falcon, the Guardian Kong, the Guardian Jackal, the Guardian Owl, of course, Balthazar. But those are the specials and the Guardian Falcon and then, of course, the Guardian Panther. So those are the specials. And as you guys can see, I do have 3,000 gems. So I have quite a few gems saved up. Uh, my iron storage is full. So let's go check. Before we do these summons, I've never done 10 summons before. This is my first time doing this. So who knows? Maybe we can land a... Uh, maybe we can land a legendary. Um, but my rank is 5,200. Now, last night I was at 5,000. Um, or 4,000, 4,100 when I went to bed. So some people did climb up above me. Now, the one that I'm happy with about the most is is definitely this 53,000. That's going to be really, really hard for me to beat. Um, that was darn near a perfect run. So we're going to look at one of uh, my lower ones. Let's look at this uh, 35,000 right here. And this is my team that I'm running for the event. I have two level two fires. And I am running the fire. Um, if I had two decent um, uh, darkness heroes, uh, then I would definitely go for them. But since I have the fire, um, that definitely makes it stronger. And of course, I got rid of the light. So we're going to go through here and we'll do a test run before I open up everything. All right, there we go. It had a little sputter there. It has another little sputter. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the good thing about not having a light on this a light uh, hero on this event is when you when you do do when you do uh, trigger your lights. When you do trigger your lights, it doesn't um, do any uh, reflective damage back onto you, and damage is one of the things that that you want to um, keep up. So. You know it reflects but it doesn't reflect so that is very very good to have and can set you up for other combos and you don't need to worry about it so I definitely recommend getting for this event I know it's only a few hours away or the next event you know whatever it is uh, get whatever reflects back the last one was light and so is this one so all right let's pop these Fires, I'm gonna have my fires are very strong because I do have two fire heroes in there right now. Let's see if we can take this jackal out. No, nope. let's see what we can uh, combo we can get out of that. Nothing. All right, but the jackal is gone. So that's it. Around a minute thirty, just under a minute thirty for that time. So as you can see, having the two fires, so really close to my high score, but not quite. Having the fires there. Um, is a lot better if I had two of the darkness heroes that would be better so let's see we got some leveling up to do I want to make sure I have enough slots um, no I don't have any leveling up to do right now so I'm not gonna worry about that um, if you guys aren't familiar with my heroes before I do these spins because we are going for a legendary I'm really really hoping that we can get a legendary today so um, I have Sonya, Renfeld, Bane, Yahanger, Bearden, Boltusk, a four-star, Tibertus, a four-star who I'm working on, Lishu, a four-star I'm working on, Melindor, a four-star I'm working on, Hawkmoon, Nashgar, Ulmer, Bearden. So those are my top heroes so far. So hopefully, hopefully on these 10 spins, maybe, who knows, we can get a Perseus, so each elemental summon, event summon, or epic uh, hero summon has a chance for a free extra summon of the hero of the month. So um, again, I've never done a 10 spin before, so this is going to be absolutely insane. So here we go. 10 spins. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay, you know what? New nature. She's rare. Uh, okay, there's that. Oh, an another four star. There's a three star. Another three star. Another three star. This isn't looking good. This is not looking good. 
So we've gotten one epic off this 10 spin so far. Oh, come on now. Are you kidding me? So we got a grip ton of three stars, which, you know, isn't necessarily bad because I can play around with these teams more now. Why did you stop? Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right, so we didn't get anything good with that those 10 spins um no perseus no legendary so the legendary is still still avoiding us i can claim 10 gems right there so man i have no idea how much you need to put in for uh, legendaries but let's check out these heroes all uh, allies get 42 percent defense and share receive damage with all their allies for five turns Valen, 265 damage to single enemy and they get 20% defense for 6 turns. Um, that's not necessarily a bad one. Now see, I think this one would be better than my Bearden. Um, my Bearden doesn't necessarily have a very strong shot. And um, this only deals 90% damage, but it's to all enemies and it reduces their mana, which is a very, very good thing to do. And of course, this is our second Nashgar. If you guys aren't familiar with him, deal 255 damage to a single enemy and they receive 42 damage over 6 turns. So Tyron, my new guy, deal 275 damage to a single enemy and remove buffs from all enemies. That's not a bad one. Alright, recover 25% health for all allies and remove buffs from all enemies. This is really cool. Because one of my teams that I want to set up is an all healer team. And I want to see how those all healer teams suit up against some other people. So I am not sad. Of course we got another Bane. I am not sad at all um, that we got another three star healer. So let's go up here. And let's check out our new four star. Uh, Cyprian. Cypri Cypri Cyprian. Nearby allies counterattack with 80% of the damage received for five turns. So a counterattacker is going to be very, very useful. Um, anytime I get into a fight with a counterattacker, it is never, never good. So one thing I did uh, for this tournament was uh, I did also level up my Sonya. And um, she is working on getting maxed out now. So that will be a lot of fun when I get her maxed out. But I obviously have a lot of new heroes to play with. I have a lot of leveling up. I still need to do so much grinding to get these heroes maxed out and start playing with more teams. But guys, over the next uh, month, I will start to get the rest of these heroes maxed out and um, we can start having more fun with them as well. So, holy cow, that was a lot of fun. 2,600 crystals gone. I hope you guys enjoyed this spin. Um, I know I did, and I hope that soon, hopefully soon, we can get a legendary. Um, I just, uh, man, it must take a lot to get a legendary in this game. So, hopefully legendaries aren't like $100 like they are in some of my other games, but I have heard of some people who've dropped $150 and they still don't have a legendary. So, who knows who knows how hard it is guys if you've gotten a legendary spin and you haven't put any money into the game let me know in the comment section below i am interested in that so but that is it for now guys thank you so much for joining in